Hey friends, Jeff Bailey here with Dave's Pre-Owned Supercenter in Rockmark. Make sure the next time you're in the market for a car, truck, or SUV, you take the short drive over to Little Old Rockmart and find out what the buzz is all about. You'll be glad you did, and so will your wallet. So come on by and meet our friendly staff, and we'll have you busting bugs in no time. So what are you waiting for? Just give us a call at 770-684-7400 or check us out at daysrockmart.com. And remember, like we always say, today is the day. At Family Savings Credit Union, we understand how important your time is. So we make managing your money fast, easy, and convenient. Need a loan? Just fill out an online application and get back to the game without missing a minute of action. We know what matters to you because we're a family. We understand how important your time is. So we make managing your money fast, easy, and convenient. Go to FamilySavingsCU.com, call, or stop by any Family Savings Credit Union location to get started today. Federally insured by NCUA, Equal Opportunity Lender. Here's a real tweet from a real Chick-fil-A guest. Meredith writes, Am I the only person who didn't know Chick-fil-A had mac and cheese? Holy game changer. The secret's out now, Meredith. Is there anything you think the world should know about our mac and cheese? What I really like about the mac and cheese is the oven toasted golden brown cheesy top layer. It's savory and it makes you feel really good. That does sound amazing. Thanks, Meredith. Try the mac and cheese yourself at your local Chick-fil-A. Real Chick-fil-A guests paid for their testimonial. Lewis Motor Company in Rock Mart carries a wide variety of quality vehicles with the inventory updated on a regular basis to provide you with the best selection. Let Lewis Motor Company put you in a vehicle with their guaranteed credit approval. Lewis Motor Company, 218 South Piedmont Avenue in Rock Mart. It's Rock Mart High School Softball here on WZOT. Brought to you by the Clay Birch DT. The Nathan Dean Agency, Culver Exterminating, Precious Pauls, Croker's Hardware, Pascal's Lawn Care, Merle Norman Cosmetics and Boutique, and Dean Presley Florida. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. We're here at Rockmark High School for the uh, softball game between Rockmark High School and the uh, Daresville Tigers. So, Robert Troll in here along with Christopher Wolf. Chris. Good to be here on this beautiful day. Yeah, finally, man. It's been a while. It has, and uh, they're starting a little bit early today, so we could do a free game show, but uh, we do appreciate uh, everybody tuning in and getting ready for this game to start. Rockmark has taken the field, and Emily registers on the mound for us. Yep, good to have her back uh, from her uh, quarantine days there. So uh, that, that little rain out we had kind of kind of helped her because she only really missed that one game. So glad to have her back in, on the Man today. That's right. She wasn't sick, but she was caught in that terrible. Well, you're next to somebody or whatever, so you had to wait ten days. So, but thank goodness she wasn't sick. Negative test, all that good stuff. And yeah, man, we're getting started. Yeah. So you, you go ahead and go there through. Yeah, uh, I'll run through with Basil right quick. Uh, batting first, Mackenzie Pulliam. Batting second, number twenty-one, Chloe Sanders. Batting eighth, Sadie Johnson. Batting fourth, Alyssa Jarrett. Batting fifth, Taylor Rhodes. Batting sixth, Michaela Wade. Megan Gregory, Mia Scott, and Gabby Becerra. Here comes the first pitch. Yeah, and that's going to be a, a ball with it inside, I think. I don't know. Yep, well, we had to go through that quick because I'm telling you, these umpires are they are ready to get started and yes. wasted no time. That's why we're five minutes early on the pitch. Another inside ball from Register. I had to Move the batter back a little bit, so hopefully she can get dialed in this next pick. Trying to get all of our sponsors here. They've got ahead of us so quick that we don't have all that information yet, so it's coming. Nice pitch. Hit down the line. Just barely foul. So she has to come all the way back after running down the first. Yeah, Sam let her get down there. <laughs> Let her get down there and wear out a little bit before she picked that ball up. It's clearly foul. Yeah. Ball inside, just behind the catcher a little bit, comes to the fence to see us. And... Well, we look like we can pick out Emily's game plan real quick. She's really wanting to come inside there. It's 3 1 count. Here's the pitch. Rise ball, ball four. Yeah, 
been a minute for her, so take her a minute here to get dialed in. Oh, yeah. Steps back on the rubber, ready to go. Runner up first for Adairsville. Strike, swing of the... I like another rise ball there. Sure did. Swung right under that thing. There's what comes in 6 1 overall. Inside pitch ball. And 2 and 1 in region play. They had a big win over Kahula Creek, which is who we go up to face tomorrow. They beat them 1 to nothing. This is going to be a good region. A rise ball fouled off down third base. Oh, there's no doubt it's a good region. There's a lot of Floyd County teams glad that <laughs> and we're gone. <laughs> that we're gone. As for zero. Got to do the ball exchange here. It's a little different uh, than previous years with the, everything going on. The umpire doesn't keep balls in his bag, in his ball bag, so that they have to come from the uh, fielding team dugout. Yeah, they can't even touch the rice ball. Ooh, we got her. She's out of first base. She started to go and then decided to come back, but she's out at first. But uh, good throw by the catcher. We saw the same thing. She was out of first. Did. Yep. We had her. Yeah. One out. Ball up straight up there to the catcher. She's moving to get it. And makes a nice catch behind the plate for out number two. So, got two quick here in the top of the first. Now batting number eight, Sadie Johnson. Rise ball, ball on this side. That one came in high and tight. Got to keep the batter thinking. Ball hit high to the left center and right off the fence. So I think teams lost it in the sun. That's one time it didn't help us. No. So. She definitely lost that one. Now batting number 10, Alyssa Garrett. Well, two outs. They got a run in the second now. It didn't go over the fence, thank goodness, but it made it right to it and bounced right at the bottom of the fence. Yep, normally teams track that one down, no problem. But this time of day, that sun is brutal out there. Swung on and fouled off behind. That goes in there, Daddy, also. They shouldn't be using that same ball if it goes in their dugout. Nope. But that's all right. We'll just move along. So here comes the pitch from Emily. It was a changeup called for a strike right at the letters. So two strikes. And the pitch swung foul behind to us. He's trying to throw that by her, Chris. Yeah, this is Darzel's uh, cleanup batter, too, uh, Alyssa Jarrett. So he challenged her right there. Yeah, she went right after her. 2 pitch. Better be careful. So she was definitely not, not backing away from swinging. This pitch outside, strike three. That's a two. He's on first and strikeout. Beautiful pitch. She's just challenged her all, all those pitches, and uh, she won that battle. Sure did. So we'll be right back. Go to the bottom of the first, zero to zero. Here we go. Whether you are a builder, renovator, or homeowner, you want to be offered and educated with the latest codes and innovations for keeping your home more efficient. TNT Insulation can blow you away with dynamite service and dynamite prices. Call today at 770-684-1887. Or go see them at 562 P Ridge Road in Rockmark. 
Are you aware that untreated wood is highly susceptible to termite damage? Are you bothered by other pesky insects like bed bugs, ants, roaches, wasps, and hornets? Call Harrelson Termite and Pest Control for an inspection. They have the experience to handle your pest control needs. Call Harrelson Termite and Pest Control today to schedule an appointment. Silver Comet Furniture, your one-stop shop for all your furniture and bedding needs. We carry brands such as Ashley, Catnapper, Liberty, and Jameson Mattress Company. At Silver Comet Furniture, 678-685-4320, 2000 Cedartown Highway in Fish Creek. Hi, right, back at the Rock for the bottom of the first inning where the score is 0-0. Zero zero. And see if we can't get on the board. Uh, Chris, why don't you go ahead and go with our starting lineup? Yep, uh, leading off me number nine, playing center field, Alexis Teams. Batting second, number four, catching, Zory Williams. Batting third and playing shortstop, number one, Gracie Arnold. Batting fourth, playing right field, number 17, Megan Johnson. Batting fifth at third base, number 16, Sam Wolf. Batting sixth and pitching, number 18, Emily Register. Batting seventh at first base, number 23, Sarah Beth Frazier. Batting eighth, number eight at second base, Maddie Owens. And batting ninth, playing left field, number six, Anna Lee Moore. All right, so there you go, and the uh, pitcher's still warming up here. It is an absolutely gorgeous day. You know, this morning it was overcast, and I thought, well, I hope it doesn't rain. Most of the day, I mean, it really didn't clear out till later on in the afternoon. They had about four puddles on the infield right around the grass area that they had to work on after lunch, but right now you can't even tell it was there. It's in yeah, great it condition. Looks, it looks good. Outfield's probably a little soggy, but. But it's not uh, not in bad shape at all. All right, so let's see if Alexis can do something well, here. She's coming off a hot bat. Unfortunately, we don't have any any stats to go by this year, but she's definitely had a hot bat. Fouls that one right past Coach Luke. Slapped at that one just a tad late there. Yeah, it was a little out of her range, too, a little high. But she's good at what she does, and that's putting, placing the ball where she wants it and motoring around the bases. And here comes the pitch. Change up, hit the third. Never she hit her. She follows the ball, and uh, well, she would have been safe either way, but she's going to first. Yes, sir, that's an infield single right there. That She didn't have a chance. She beat that throw. By at least a step and a half, I'd say. She hit the bag kind of awkward. It kind of worried me there for a second, but she doesn't seem to be affected by it. So, place your bets. First or second pitch, she's going to take off. I just want to say first this time. She's going to go on the first pitch. He's moved Zori up in the lineup this, this week. There she goes. The throw, not in time. So, it's going to be a steal. And you see Zori started out in the left-handed box. She's also a slapper bunner, but now with uh, teams at, at second, she's going to move over and bat right at it and try to put some power on the ball. That's a, that's a good move right there. That's smart coaching, man. Can't see the runner take off, plus she can hit either way. Good job. Here comes the pitch. Well, believe it or not, I told Jeff this very thing, Jeff Sharp, last week that I thought that she should move up to second. He should swap her and Morris. And sure enough, he did it. Jeff must have been in his ear. He, he, he probably took credit for it. Well, he probably did it for us. He knows sharp. The ball hit hard to left field, but it's going to be foul. Get out of here. Just foul. There's no doubt he took credit for oh, it. Oh, yeah. Because it was not your idea. <laughs> so he told you first. He just threw his mind. <laughs> he Jedi'd me, huh? You have to brag a little bit. You know, he had his first fireball game yesterday. He got a yellow card. <laughs> First game. Just one? Just one. <laughs> Ball fouled off the right side. That's okay. It's early in the season. He should brag then. That's right. He only got one. <laughs> what other colors do they make? Um, can't, can't use that ball. Okay. Nope. Uh, what did you say? What other cards? <laughs> what other colors cards do they make? They have red as well. Yeah. If you get the red and yellow together, that's not good. You're going home. <laughs> yeah, he'll have that before. <laughs> before it's over there. Yeah. So now we're getting another ball in here. So it's 0-2 count. I believe it is. Yep. 1-2. Yep. 2-2? Two, two. Two, two? 
And the pitch. Swung on and missed. Just kind of a rise ball on her. Yeah, kind of went out outside and up a little bit, huh? Gracie Arnold steps up. We got to get that runner in from second. The pitch, called strike right there at the letters. That was another rise ball, but it just stayed right there at the letters. It's definitely a, a pitcher's umpire here. He likes to call strikes. Yep. He wants the batter's hit, which is not a bad thing. Ball hit right over that's shortstop. Dangerous. It's going to get down. And that's going to score. She didn't pay attention to coach. And, oh, runners didn't go to second, though. So maybe he did tell her, hold. I don't know. He's trying to go, but it's okay. we got runners at second and third right now. No, I think he told her to go. His head's down. Yeah. <laughs> yep, this little Texas League blooper right there that, that fell in the hole. Yeah, but that's all it took. But, yeah, the, the player was on the ground. I, I think she could have scored because looking at the throw, it wasn't, wasn't on target. So, one out, Johnson, right, batting for us? Yes, sir, Megan Johnson. Ball hit high up in the air to left field. Shortstop's going back. She drops the ball. Throw it on. Not in time, so it's going to be one run score. So we got runners at first and second. So that sun is brutal. Yeah. We talked about that last time we were here, Chris, and how that sun definitely helps us right now. Definitely. Unfortunately, Gracie couldn't advance on that just because where the ball was. But uh, that brings up the fifth batter, number 16, Samantha Wolf. So he's on first and second, one out. But we're on the board, so that's good. Starting off at the bottom of the first. One nothing rock mark. And here comes the pitch. Ball foul straight up to the catcher. And she catches it for out number two. First pitch just gets under too much. It goes catcher had to take two steps backwards. But uh she would like to have that one back, I'm sure. Yep, definitely. Now back into the lady jacket number eight. It's time for uh Emily registered a bat and help herself here. Get a base hit, score one. Rise ball, that's high. I wonder uh, if you see Arnold put her sleeves back up. He told her to put him down when he sees the batter's box, so I think she better put him down. Yeah, I wouldn't push it too much. Here comes the pitch. Called strike right down the middle. Catcher's talking to the umpire. Don't know what. Maybe they're just saying, hey, how you doing? What's eating later tonight? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that was about. And here comes the pitch. Ball hit high in the air to left field again. Shortstop's going back. She's going to make the play for out number three in foul territory. But not before Rockmark scores one. So we're going to the top of the second. Rockmark leads one nothing. All right, I want to ask you something, but you have to promise not to laugh at me. Okay, what? Do you think the State Farm jingle really works? Like, for real? Like, if you sing the jingle, will your agent actually appear and help you out? Yeah, of course it works. I saw it on the internet. Sherman Rawls State Farm Insurance, 122 East Elm Street in Rockmart. Call 770-684-3500. Email him at sherman at shermanross.net. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Hey folks, this is your old buddy Bill Scherfsey, General Manager of All-Star Motors. See Donis Bain for a great deal on a new pre-owned vehicle and drive it home today. Good credit, bad credit, no credit. Your job is your credit. And remember, All-Star Motors, where every day is an all-star day. Also, check us out at www.allstarmotorco.com. And we have that unforgettable phone number, 770-684-CARS at 770-684-2277. All right, we're back at Rock Mart. Where we're going to the top of the second. Rock Mart's leaving, leading one to nothing. Left a couple on the bases there, Chris. And, yeah, uh, Sam and Emily didn't, didn't come through there. And then 
both popped up to the down to the catcher and Emily to the left side where the shortstop ran over and got. It's a good throw down the second base right there. That was, that was nice. Well, we talked about on the season right now. We've lost a couple games. I think we're, we we said we're five and two, six and two overall. I six think and two. two and one in region. And, and this is a region game right here, correct? It is correct. So this is very important for us. And here's the pitch. A little bit low. And tomorrow you were telling me we're going where? Cahula Creek. Cahula Creek. Is that that's, how you say that's it? correct. Cahula and that Creek? is a long ways away. That is a ride. Yep. Ball inside almost sits in the legs. It's uh that's how close she's inside throwing. Yeah, Emily's trying to live right there. The two balls no strike. Another beautiful inside pitch on the inside corner for strike one. She's that right is, there. That is a good pitch. I mean, if you can put it right there and get that call every time, that is a really good pitch. Ball hit the third. Comes up throwing. In plenty of time, gets about about three steps. Yep, Sam came up and fired that one. Ball kind of died there in the infield. Didn't didn't get to her real quick, but it quick looks, enough. The ground looks like it's hard, but it's really not. It's mm-hmm. just it's that uh, all that. Stay dry or yeah, brick dust kind of stuff. Um, mm-hmm. Surface. That's what it's called. Here comes the pitch. Called strike inside corner. Well, one out. Scores one nothing. Rockmar leads in the top of the second. Still time for you to come out and watch some softball. Another good crowd. The ball's low. Fire department's here cheering on. That's nice to see them unless there's a fire, but I don't think there is. Maybe we can get hot. We can use the water hose to cool us down. <laughs> there we go. That's the goal. And the pitch from Emily. Fouls out on right side, out of play. Oh. In the bleachers. Where almost, nobody hit, almost hit no one in the bleachers. Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> we didn't see no teddy bear or nothing out there, you know, so. Like some of those cardboard cutouts like they got at the Braves game. I like seeing those those <laughs> players throwing the ball up there, the, the cardboard cutouts. That's pretty right. neat. One, two. Here's the pitch. Rise ball gets faster, so it's 2-2 two, two now. Did you see that one in Major League where it hit that teddy bear in the stands and the teddy bear just bopped back, back up in the spot? No, I missed that. That was pretty good. Uh, Anything we got to do to play, that's the whole thing. That's the theme of the year. It's another rise ball, so it's going to be a full count. Full count to number five here, Michaela Wade for the Darisville Lady Tiger. Well, I think Emily's going to have to have a couple innings just to, to get back. That's ball four in the inside corner. You know, when you're pitching every day, it's a different story, but she had yeah. to actually not practice or anything for those two weeks. Well, you know, and, and I've watched Emily. Gosh, I coached her back when she was five, six years old, so I've watched her grow up. And, There's you know, <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, uh, as you know, maturing as a pitcher, and, and she, she likes she likes to hit her spot. She likes to move the ball around. So doing that, sometimes, you you know, you find yourself getting in trouble. Swung on and missed. Beautiful pitch right there. What I can middle. tell you, she can do that right there. She can come right back whenever she gets ready and, and blow it right by. Yeah. I think that's neat watching the last couple of years how she's grown. Called illegal pitch. She must not come to the glove. Yeah. I thought you just put your arm out. You have to yell illegal pitch? It might all change. I always just stuck my arm out. Ball hit the third. Sand comes up with it. Going to go to first with it. In time, she pulls the glove up for out number two. That was smart right there because she had to go get that ball, and there, I don't think she would have got her in second. Yeah, she would have had to make an awkward throw. It, the key is make sure you get an out no matter what. So she went there. So two outs. And who we got back for? Basically. That would be uh, number 23, Mia Scott. She had a last batter. Number eight. Number eight. Ball up in the air. That hits her in the toe, coming back down off the fence. 
strike one. And here comes the pitch. The ball hits the second base. Comes up with it. Makes the throw. Man, For out number three. Nice job right there to get out of this inning. So still score one and nothing. Rockmar goes to the bottom of the second. Here we go, girls. Hello, Jacket Nation. I'm Chris Miller. And I'm Steve Miller. And we are Alvis Miller and Son Funeral Home and Cream Stores. Our family has been part of Rockmark since 1954, and we have been serving you at the funeral home since 1981. My dad is a 1971 graduate of Rockmart High School, and I'm a 2005 graduate of Rockmart High School. We are proud supporters of our community and Rockmart High School athletics. From our family to yours, go Jackets. Alvis Miller & Son Funeral Home and Crematory, Rockmart's only locally owned and operated hometown funeral home. By Low True Value, 308 Nathan Dean Parkway in Rock Mart invites you to come by and watch the inventory grow every day. We're the home of the Garrett Brothers Saw Mill. Our family has been processing and selling our country's greatest renewable resources for over 100 years. Like us on Facebook or give us a call at 770-684-5075. Back at the Rock, the Lady Jackets are up one to nothing going to the bottom of the second inning. And uh, who we got batting for us? Well, we got leading off uh, for us here will be number 23, our first baseman, Sarah Beth Razor, followed by Matty Owens and Annalee Morris. And we'll be back to the top of the lineup, and I expect us to get there. I do, too. I think, uh, you know, last time we were together, you said they were going to bat around. And we did. I haven't heard that say yet. I'm, <laughs> it's going to come. I know you are. But uh, our, our next game, Chris, I'll have some stats for us so we can talk about this. You know, really. I really don't know where you're going to get them. Oh, I do. I can get them. If you can get them, that'd be great. I can get them. We're, we're not caught up on Max Preps uh, as far as right mark goes. I have an inside track. <laughs> well, that's what it takes. Yeah, that's right. So here we go now, getting ready. Frazier up the bat. All strikes on the outside. It was, it was a kind of a weak rise ball, but it was up there at the letters. Yeah, Taylor, I've, I've seen her pitch. She plays for a, a team out of Cedartown, and she moves the ball, spins it, spins it pretty good, stays off the plate. Ball hit high up in the air to center field. She's too high in the air, so she's going to make the catch. Boy, she got all that, but she hit it straight up in the air. I mean, straight up. If you would have hit that, oh, it would have been on, on line, top of the building yeah. up there. Yeah, that was a major league hit. That brings up our second baseman, number eight, Matty Owen, who's been swinging a good bat this year. That was a changeup, rolling inside, ball one. Again, that's Taylor Rhodes, number nine, pitching for the Lady Tigers. And the pitch. Hi, rise ball, ball two. And that's what Maddie's done such a good job of this year is, is taking the count deep in her favor. And that's, that's definitely helped her out at the plate. Pitch. Just a little bit inside, thank goodness. He was getting ready to call a strike, but it was inside, ball three. Well, it says 2-1, but I thought he said ball. I did too. So rise ball. Now it's three one. Now it's three one. I must. He didn't. He, he just yeah. doing the the whole point thing. He's not dropping the hammer on the strike, as, yep. as Joe Henderson would would put it. Mighty Joe Joe. Mighty Joe. That ball's high. Right, so that's going to be a walk. That's going to be a silver comet uh, furniture walk. So you need some furniture. Go see them out there on the two seventy eight. Brings up our uh, left fielder, Annalee Marr. Ball bunted to first. In time for an out. And that first. third baseman made a great throw. She sure did. She hummed it over there. So, yeah, Morris did her job. Uh, she would like to have been safe, but she did her job. She advanced the runner. And now we're at the beginning of our lineup with two outs. 
I'd like you to say now we're going to bat around, even two outs. Now we're going <laughs> to. He's not going to say that. So, all right. But that does bring up our leadoff batter, Alexis Payne. Hopefully she can get Maddie in right here. Jams her. It's going to foul down past Coach Luke. Strike one. We're just in the bottom of the second. One nothing. Rockmar leads with a runner at second for Rockmar. And the pitch. Fouls that one back at us here. So, 0 2 count right now. Now she's going to have to really be careful here and fight off the one she does the one. Hopefully, Fisher yeah. will make a mistake. Yeah, she's definitely not going to intentionally throw her one. Rise ball right off the best got all out. Yeah. Yeah, that was right under Zori Williams' chin there. Watch out with the, you know, Georgia High School. They don't let them swap sides, you know, depending on the batter. Right. As far as their own deck circle goes. Well, which can be really dangerous in my opinion. But Fouled that one off there, too. So, four, four foul offs and... uh She's just fighting to try to stay alive here. Because they're not very good pitches, but they're close enough to be strikes. Oh, yeah. She's too far ahead in the count to throw her anything that she wants. Fouls that one off. And Alexis is just, you know, like a little cat prowl on the prowl. She's just toying with her. You know, she's just saying, keep throwing it out there. I'll keep slapping it over there. That's right. <laughs> Coach Luke is definitely getting his exercise right now. I think he's filled with three of the five so far. And here comes the pitch. She hits that one up in the air to shortstop. Uh, for out number three. So, didn't get any runs that inning, but it goes down to the top of the fifth, and Rob Mark leads one nothing. We'll be right back. Hey friends, Jeff Bailey here with Dave's Pre-Owned Supercenter in Rockmart. Make sure the next time you're in the market for a car, truck, or SUV, you take the short drive over to Little Old Rockmart and find out what the buzz is all about. You'll be glad you did, and so will your wallet. So come on by and meet our friendly staff, and we'll have you busting bugs in no time. So what are you waiting for? Just give us a call at 770-684-7400 or check us out at daysrockmart.com. And remember, like we always say, today is the day getting geared up for the holiday season we offer 30 vendors with crafts antiques vintage and home decor items we are located at 120 south marble street in downtown rockmart georgia come by and see us for all your holiday shopping needs we have that perfect gift waiting for you to share with someone you can reach us at 678-685-4949 or on our Facebook page at Cotton Splinters Marketplace and Christmas Shop. Come and see us. Oh, we're back at the Rock where we're going to the top of the third. I don't know where the fifth came from, but it's coming, I know. <laughs> uh, so we're at the top of the third, and Rockmart leads one to nothing. Got a 9-1-2 up here for the... The Dares for the Lady Tigers would be uh, Gabby Becerra, Mackenzie Pulliam, and Chloe Sounders. I was going to say that's the uh, area code for Macon. I didn't know. I was like, 912? Okay. I'm going to say this is Gabby Batten. Everybody's saying, come on, Gabby. So she squares the bond but misses for strike one. That what I think that's what it was. I hung with my phone. Here comes the pitch. Beautiful inside. She swung right through it and fouled off to the catcher. So, still 0-2 count. Like a drop ball there from, from registry. That's a rise ball. Strike three. Just like that. So, that's a Tilly's home furnishing. Strike three, and a beautiful pitch right there. 
She didn't waste any time, did she? I don't know. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. You're not going to be sharp on me, are you? Yeah, you're going to be a sharp on me? All right. Somebody's got to. Okay. Ball's inside. Ball one. Well, I mean, I didn't, I didn't hear what it said. No, he's, he's getting on to him for throwing the ball around on the strikeout. I mean, that's just. Yeah, we can't do that this year. That's just Georgia high school rules. That's one of the rules that they said. So. It's a rise ball, strike two. I was doing volleyball yesterday at the middle school. Were they not allowed to hit it? <laughs> There's a lot of things they're not allowed to do, and they had no clue. So, that ball's inside. Ooh, made me move out of the way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to make sure we can play longer. But, you know, this is a lot of stuff that is. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, you're throwing the ball around that gets thrown around anyway, so. Ball in the dirt. Three balls, one strike. Pretty sure throwing the ball around on third track not going to cause the pandemic to get any worse. Well, <laughs> I, you know, it could. That's uh, ball four. That was a rise ball inside. So she's going to go down to first with one out. The number two batter is coming up. Who is this batting? This be Chloe Saunders. Saunders. I'd like to see a double up the middle right here. She's flying out there. Zori Williams, classic bat. She's keeping that ball inside. It's ball one. I could I could see a double play up the middle here. Here comes the pitch. Rise ball. A little high. I will say one thing for the Lady Tigers. They're not chasing anything. No, no. They're making you come at them. Two balls, no strikes. And here's the pitch. Inside, ball three. She's going to sit here and watch this ball, so we got to get this in for a strike. There's a pitch. That's a little bit too high. That's ball four. So now we got two base runners with one out. Coach Luke's going to call time, and he's going to talk to his pitcher. And that brings up Sadie Johnson. Uh, she she's the one to hit the ball to the fence last time that Alexis lost in the oh, sun. Yeah, so yeah. Got to be careful here. We know she's got some pop. That's their catcher as well. Yeah, so Coach Luke's done talking now, just saying, okay, calm down, and you're back. Everything's good. So, yeah, we. I don't know if we want to do a rise ball here. Or, so, here we go. Top of the second. Third, excuse me, top of the third. I'll get it here in a minute. one nothing rock, Mark. But they got runners at first and second with one out. Inside. Ball one. She's definitely having trouble right now getting command of that, that pitch. She might want to try to go outside. Coming back in. Call on the inside corner. Beautiful pitch right there at the belt. Strike one. Again, got to be careful with this batter here. We know she can hit it. She can turn on hit that it thing. deep. So one one. Going outside. She hits the ball right to shortstop. There's going to be one. That's all you're going to get is one. So runners out second. But now we have two outs. So on a fourth play. It's going to bring up number 10, Alyssa Jarrett. The number he's, four back. He's pointing for the first base runner. I don't know what he's talking about. So, anyway, so two outs. Maybe two or bad. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I missed it. I don't know. 
Runner on first and third. There goes the runner. Ball hit right up at Emily. Hits her in the knee. She's going to throw her out of first. No, she bottles it. So she's one run short. Here comes the second one. She tries to go out of the baseline, so she's going to be out no matter what. So that's going to be out number three, but we need to check Emily's legs right there. That hurt not before they scored the run, unfortunately. Yeah, they did score one, so it's tied one-to-one. One. We're going to the bottom of the third. We'll be right back. WZOT Rockmark, W270CE Rome. At Family Savings Credit Union, we understand how important your time is. So we make managing your money fast, easy, and convenient. Need a loan? Just fill out an online application and get back to the game without missing a minute of action. We know what matters to you because we're a family. We understand how important your time is. So we make managing your money fast, easy, and convenient. Go to FamilySavingsCU.com, call, or stop by any Family Savings Credit Union location to get started today. Federally insured by NCUA, Equal Opportunity Lender. Get your bronze on. Visit Totally Bronze Tanning Salon at 254 West Elm Street in Rockmart to get that beautiful bronze look. Totally Bronze Tanning Salon has a very clean and cool facility with a safe, well-lit parking area. For a quick tan, they have sunless spray tanning. Call them today at 770-684-3003 for an appointment or go by 254 West Elm Street in Rockmart. All right, we're back at the Rock. Scores tied one to one, going the bottom of the third. And uh, thank goodness, nice throw by the first baseman to get the other runner out of the home. Well, that was a hard hit ball right back at register, though, man. That's that's the scary one right there. It's right to the shins, man. It's yeah. Kind of, she's gonna feel that in the yeah, morning. She tried to gather herself enough to make a throw real quick, but unfortunately, it, it just wasn't happening. And who can blame her? Yeah, as hard as that was. I could see that uh, why, uh, you know, she threw it fast, but she had plenty of time. It just, hey, you don't yeah. know. No. She took that one. Yeah, because I think it shocked the batter <laughs> getting yeah. out of the batter's box as well. Yep. That brings up uh, t- top of three batters for the route mark. be Zori Williams, Gracie Arnold, and Megan Johnson. And this is Zori's second and bad after striking out her first time. Now you see the sleeves came down. <laughs> But fouls are off back. Right off the catcher. Went our dugout, but the Man, girls were wearing gloves, so they could get the ball and put it back in play. So we're okay. Can't touch that ball, Chris. That will spread a virus all over this country. You know, that's all we need is two weeks from now saying it was a rock mark softball game. <laughs> And here comes the pitch. Brought right back to the pitcher. Just gets about half a step. Yeah, she's another one with good speed. Just hit it a little bit too hard. A little bit too much on that one. She was shooting for that gap in between the pitcher and and the first baseman, and uh, unfortunately, just a little too close to Taylor Rose. And here comes the pitch to Arnold. Oh, inside. That'll push that sleeve up. <laughs> you will. You're right. I bet you Arnold's got a little bit of strength there. Oh, yeah. You can turn on that ball. And here comes the pitch. Ball hits hard through the third baseman for a single. Nice. I told you she could hit that ball. You already knew that, but I'll tell you, she drives. Oh, yeah. Yeah, as a freshman last year, she had two or three home runs, I believe. Now batting number 17, Megan Johnson. Well, Megan Johnson up to bat for Rob Mark. One out, runner at first. That was a changeup that was inside, ball one. Started her off with a changeup. This is going to be a rise ball. Assuming the umpire left his plate brush at home. That was a rise ball, call for a strike, right there at the letters. Probably so, but I don't know. Steps back in, one ball, one strike, one out. 
Rise ball. That's too high, though. So two balls, one strike. Good eye right there by Megan Jump. She wanted to turn, but she stopped. You're right. That was very good. That's hard to do when the last one was just called strike, you know. Well, hit hard. It's out of here. That's going to that's be a century bank home run. I guarantee it. You could tell when it left the bat. There is no doubt. So, Century Bank got that one. Beautiful. I mean, she just unloaded on that thing. Did it even, where did it go? Did it go over the building? Because I'm telling you, it was gone. Well, it, it is at the building now. That's where it was retrieved from. But it, it landed out there in the in the sidewalk there in between the fence and the flower garden. That thing was out of here in two seconds. It was gone. That she needed that too. Yeah, and that's what we were talking off air. You know, that that's why she's there, and and that's great. Now, if we could just get this one hitting, uh, number will. sixteen, Sam yeah. Moore. Yeah. Call strike on the inside corner. It's those ride homes with the with the daddy that you she know. She drives now. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> not that anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe she needs to ride home with you. <laughs> that, that, that might be it. Maybe I just need to take those keys. Yeah. It's hit hard to shortstop. She misses it. That's, that's a base hit because she went right past right. her. And uh, that was a nice drive. That's the hardest hit ball she's had in a while. So. Well, she just saw her buddy right before. Yeah. Hit the ball out of the park. And she connected. So the score is 3-1 to one right now. Rock Martin leads. But yeah, scorebook that that definitely goes as a hit. As it wouldn't have been an ordinary play. No, and their coach is calling time to go talk to uh, their pitcher. I thought, and I could be wrong. Help me out here. I thought the coaches all had to wear the same. They do stuff. Uh, but I, like I said, once again, I just do volleyball. I don't do softball. Well, I'll let you in on a little inside secret here. That's actually her dad. Uh oh. So, is he a teacher? I'm, I'm not sure what he is. But I know he's not wearing the uniform. So, And, you know, uh, the umpire that, that warned us the other week about the mask, the year before, he threw out the uh, Herd County head coach because they weren't matching. I remember that. And that was not a good day for that Herd County coach. Nope. So, but Emily's going to step up now for help herself here. You know, that's. She's walking good, so, you know, hopefully getting hit in the leg is, is not going to be that bad. Time to help yourself, kid. Wear it back and hit it hard. Pitch. Ball strike on the outside corner. So, once again, we got a runner at first. One out. We're in the bottom of the third. Rock Marsh leading. Three to one. Ball hit hard, but foul. She turned on that one. Three, three, four. We're going to go three, three, four. Man, that, that's probably what I would have went with. That's, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I always, Change up. Yeah, I always like three, three, four. So, that's a strikeout for young lady. She got her on a change up. That was pretty wicked. It too. was ugly. I mean, pretty hard. that's. I think it's going to be another change-up. He likes that last one. Inside and low, ball. Well, I'm going to tell you, too, this is another one here that can can hit the long ball. A little bit low. I'm going to say whatever the first number is is what she's going to pitch. So this is going to be a curve or a slider. Well, it's inside. Ball three. We got two outs, but we got to run at first. We got to get her over there at second and come on home. Call her and tell her to come home. <laughs> she's your daughter. Get home She'll now. listen. You know, you hate to sit there and watch that pitch go by, pitch go by but you yeah, have to. but you can't with, with two outs. Yeah. Three to one. Here comes the pitch. Oh, 
swung on and missed, just missed it. Throw down the first, not in time. Just, I think she, she hesitated her swing and then went under it. So now we got a full count. She's got to come at her right here. And here goes the payoff pitch. Called strike three on the inside, inside part of the plate. So we'll be right back. Rob Marley leads three to one. Here's a real tweet from a real Chick-fil-A guest. Meredith writes, Am I the only person who didn't know Chick-fil-A had mac and cheese? Holy game changer. The secret's out now, Meredith. Is there anything you think the world should know about our mac and cheese? What I really like about the mac and cheese is the oven toasted golden brown cheesy top layer. It's savory and it makes you feel really good. That does sound amazing. Thanks, Meredith. Try the mac and cheese yourself at your local Chick-fil-A. Real Chick-fil-A gas paid for their testimonial. Lewis Motor Company in Rock Mart carries a wide variety of quality vehicles with the inventory updated on a regular basis to provide you with the best selection. Let Lewis Motor Company put you in a vehicle with their guaranteed credit approval. Lewis Motor Company, 218 South Piedmont Avenue in Rock Mart. We're back at the Rock. Going to the top of the fourth. Hey, Jerry Dabs. Yeah, take over. And uh, Rob Marley's 3-1. to one. Caught me with a cracker in the mouth. Here's Jerry. Put a headset on. Who sits here? You can have one headset there, Jerry. Come on, talk. He's newly retired from his. You retired now from your seventh job, right? Yeah, he's he's <laughs> retired from so many jobs that he makes more money than he did when he was working. I know he retired from GM. My dad worked up there. So we got number five, number nine, fifth batter Taylor Rose. Pitcher for Darrison. Pitch was a tad low, ball one. So now we're top four, right? Yes, sir. And uh, three to one, Rock Mart leads. Register still at the mound. She looks good after getting hit in the shins with the ball. Not seeing any problems there. That's called strike right there at the letters. Inside pitch, beautiful pitch. Man, you can get the strike, throw it there again. <laughs> yes, sir. Come set. Fouls that one straight back. Glory catches it on the rebound. It'd be out if we were playing backyard ball. Well, yeah, or racket ball or anything. <laughs> anything. Yeah, you're right. One, two pitch. Hits that straight up in the air going toward first. She has one. Just, just ran play. out. Ah, just a hair. She was there, and it just caught the edge of that dugout. So, she tried to get a strike out there, but then she fouled it off, so that is still alive. Pitcher versus the pitcher here. Yeah. One ball, two strikes. Here's the pitch. Fouls off her leg, but she's in the box. Well, it's okay. Yep, Zor reached up, tagged her anyway. Yep, you're right. I think he left the brush at home. He left the brush at home. So, this foul off. Now we're getting ready to play again. Gets a sign. Here comes the pitch. Inside. That was a little bit too far inside. Well, Zora this was, this Zora was set up outside, so I'm not sure if we had miscommunication or just a missed spot there. Two balls, two strikes. Rise ball, a little bit too high. That was a good pitch, though, but she didn't go for it. She had hard to lay off, but somehow she did. Jerry, did you see all the firefighters on your way in? Did you tell them hi? Yeah. Let's see. Inside pitch. Ball four. That's uh wow. Hate to lose that one. Yeah. Got a head over quick and ended up losing her. I think the official was saying he caught a fish this big. That's he raising his arms out. That's gotta be what it means. <laughs> 
Bunt up. And Munson it hits her in the box. So it's foul. There's number five, Michaela Wade. You don't see a lot of square in the button softball. You see a lot of just quickly slapping it. Yeah. She walked last time, so see if we can remedy that this time. Good, beautiful pitch for a ball. Umpire did not think so. Yeah, that was a beautiful ball. We got that call early on for sure. Yeah. There's a pitch. Hit straight. That's like a bunt. Nice swinging bunt. She's going to be out, he says. Called her out. Okay. We'll take that out. Um. <laughs> hey, I'm not arguing. So, we'll take it. So, they advance the runner to second. It brings up Megan Gregory. Who hit into a 5-3 last time to Sam. Oh, that last batter. She hit the ball hard, but went straight down, just like a bunt. That hits. What's this about everybody hitting Man. off their legs now? It's that wonderful spin that registers you, you put on her. the ball. Did you yep. teach her that? Well, I didn't want to. Uh, I wasn't going to brag. That's okay, man. I mean, it's okay, Chris. <laughs> Come set, ready to go again. Here's the pitch. Low, just a little bit below her knees because she's a tall batter. So, no, actually, she has a really good pitching coach. That before Sam surgery, that's who we went to as well, and she does have a really good, good pitching coach. Ball still a little low. You know, you got a six foot girl up there. You got. Yeah, the knees Emily, are high. You know, Emily's doing her job. She's trying to keep the ball down. Oh, I agree. Oh, I mean, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, she's, she's trying to keep it down there. And she kept it down there right off her leg this time, so she did hit the batter. Dead ball can't run. So, we got one out. Three to one. Rotmar leads top of the fourth. But runners first scoring second. position. Yeah, first, second. Scoring position is second. We gotta, we gotta get one out for sure here. Brings up Mia Scott. We hit it to Matty Owens last time. Beautiful pitch on the inside. She was just waiting for that to go by, and that's you know, that, gorgeous. That's having confidence in your pitch right there. You hit the batter, last pitch, and you come right back inside with a strike. That's a rise ball fouled off behind us here. Watch your head in there. Throw that back in, so 0 2. I'm not used to having the other team sit next to us, unless we're down the state. Oh, he found his bra. I think the, uh, the catcher asked if he would. Clean the play. So now we're ready to go. It's much easier to see a play though when you can see it. But I mean, if you, you get, get back, you, father, you, you just hand it to the catcher and ask ask her to do. I know it's rough. Here's the pitch. Swung on a miss on a rise ball. That's going to be a Tilly's home first and strikeout. It's going to bring up the ninth batter, Gabby Becerra. As Derek says, don't be silly. Go to Tilly's. <laughs> Need to go right after her. We struck her out last time. Let's go get her again. Get out of this thing. Hits that right down the third baseline. Comes up throwing. Whoop. For out number three. Good play right there. So, runners on first or second, but no one's going to score. Three to one. Rob Marley's going to the bottom of the fourth. Whether you are a builder, renovator, or homeowner, you want to be offered and educated with the latest codes and innovations for keeping your home more efficient. TNT Insulation can blow you away with dynamite service and dynamite prices. Call today at 770-684-1887 or go see them at 562 P. Ridge Road in Rockmark. 
Are you aware that untreated wood is highly susceptible to termite damage? Are you bothered by other pesky insects like bed bugs, ants, roaches, wasps, and hornets? Call Harrelson Termite and Pest Control for an inspection. They have the experience to handle your pest control needs. Call Harrelson Termite and Pest Control today to schedule an appointment. By Low True Value, 308 Nathan Dean Parkway in Rock Mart invites you to come by and watch the inventory grow every day. We're the home of the Garrett Brothers Saw Mill. Our family has been processing and selling our country's greatest renewable resources for over 100 years. Like us on Facebook or give us a call at 770-684-5075. All right, we're back in the rock and they're going to the bottom of the fourth inning. Rock Mart leads 3-1. to one. So we're going to... Get started here in a second. And, uh, yeah. Now they're asking for a new ball. Yep. So that's going to bring up uh, Matty Owens, Anna Lee Morris, and Alexis Teams. And, yep, that'd be right because that, that's who's out there. Just making sure they didn't make any changes. Yep. Umpire was asking me about the lineup, and I'm like, hey, I'm just a uh, – See, that's where the problem is. Radio, if yeah, Sharp was here, he would have had all that down. See, that's, that's well, where we I failed. It. Just, we failed. Oh, no, no. I, I had it. Okay. I just, uh, this book is not official. That's correct. This book is for Chris and, and Rob. Oh, okay. Well, that, and I'm <laughs> glad you got it, too. All right, so it looks like we're ready to go now. Everybody's got their popcorn sitting back down. Not really. The concession stand's not open. What can I say? Can't serve food here. People might get sick. Can't send the bleachers. Crazy how that works. One three three. One three three. The call. I was hoping they'd do the three one four. Here's the pitch. Inside called strike. Asking for another ball. But now she doesn't want it. So. Uh oh, he's going back to the one, two, three. Here comes the pitch. Ball hit to the oh, gap. Yep, right in the center of the right field. Gets fire, but she comes back quickly to stop. Throws it a second. Nice hit. Now I see it right there, Matty Owen doing her job and hitting that ball in the gap. Well, you know, she threw it to the outside. She just put it right out there. Yeah, she beautiful. Went, went right with the pitch. Now, Jerry Daz, when he was coaching, that's what he taught him. Just take it, take it where they give you and just hit it that way, right, Jerry? So, Coach Luke with a timeout here, Morris up the bat. You got to put that bandana up. But batter don't need one. No, no. Batter's fine. You got the helmet on. Yeah. Jerry, yeah, you brought your humana thing. Yep. That's, that's good. She's going to from the left side here, so see if she got what Coach Luke's got cooking right here. It's nice to see everybody back here. Is there goes Owens. No throw. She's in there. He is. Nice. Hard to see when you got a right-handed or left-handed batter, but here's the thing. Everybody behind us here is six feet apart, doing a great job spreading out. I mean, that's what, that's you know, that's awesome. Here comes the pitch. Man oh, with another aggressive lead out there. Strike on the outside corner. She acts like she was going to bunt it. That would be a good time. Well, that was a strike, right? I thought he said strike. Yeah. The scorekeeper upstairs has struck the ball mark. We'll see. Here comes the pitch. A rise ball. That's ball. I want to say he said ball three. Uh, I'm not going to say anything. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, I, the score is three to one. That's all I can say. Rob Martin. That's all that matters. Right? It's called strike. Outside corner. Here we go. Hopefully we can move the runner right here. And the pitch. Rise ball. Called strike. He must have called that one a ball. That's good. So that's a full count, right? Should be full. And here comes the pitch. 
Fouls it right back behind the catcher, thank goodness. Nice way to slap at it. Wasn't the pitch she wanted, but, you know, she had to don't want to leave it up to the Blues. You can always tell who the dad is because they're always standing up in the player's bat for coming to the fence. Here's the pitch. Ball hit hard to second base. Throw over to first. Move the runner. Move the runner over. I thought she pulled her foot soon, but they're going to call it out anyway, so. Did her job. Got a runner third. So now we're just going to get the ball in the outfield, preferably on the ground so she can run. That brings up our speedy hot leadoff batter, Alexis Team. She slides it down third. Foul. I'd like to see her take a full swing right here. She really she really does have good power. She can hit the ball a long way. And the pitch. Rise ball fouled off down third base. Out of play. She's quickly down in the count, 0-2. All right, so we get a ball back in play. No rise ball. It's going out of play. Head out of play. That was close enough for a strike, so she had to swing in. We saw her do this earlier, just keep hitting them until she got the one she wanted. <laughs> We're done. It's, uh... This has got to be the most confusing thing in the world. Is who's well, supposed to throw the ball in? Especially as an umpire, because you know you're only allowed to do certain things. If yeah. the ball leaves the field, you're supposed to get a new field, new ball. But that wasn't the one that just left the field. That was the one that left the field a little while earlier. That was that one straight <laughs> back to us. Yeah, I know. I tell you, the the people that that like this rule is the ones that make the balls. <laughs> Without a doubt. Because they're going to sell a lot of balls. But when the high school can't have concession stands or nothing else, I don't know how they're going to afford to buy them. About seven, eight bucks a piece. That ball fouled back out. And our field is actually pretty foul ball friendly, you know, for the most part. We don't lose a whole lot to the tree monsters and all that stuff. No. Some of the fields we play at, man, the, the woods are right up against the field, and it's just a... Oh, we got a puppy in the stands. We got a puppy. So all the little kids are over there visiting the, the dog. Rise ball, nice work. That one's definitely out of place, so she couldn't swing. So. Yep, good eye right there. By yep. the team. I'm set. Good at bat so far. Fouls that one off. It Look at that. Back off the fence. Fence is really doing it. Yeah. It is. They need a new one after this. Keeping this game moving. No idea. And the pitcher's ready. Ball hit hard. It's going to be a base hit through the middle. That's going to score one. Oh, 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 that's going to be interference if they see it. That should be. She ran into her. I would have kept going. She can't stand there in baseline. She can't stand on the bag without a, without a play. She wasn't even on the bag. She was off the bag, and she ran into her. I think I would have asked that question right there. Regardless, that's another run for the Lady Jackets. 4-1 as uh, Zori Williams comes up the back. She doesn't steal that time. He calls a strike on a rise ball that kept rising. Jerry Dabbs is not happy with that one, for the record. 
She's going this time, though. And here comes the pitch. But, oh, nice. That's going to be hit through. Past shortstop. So that was a changeup, and she waited on it and she drove did. the ball. She actually reset her hands when she recognized the pitch. And Arnold's coming up, and she got the sleeves up. Let's see what happens here. Brings up our shortstop, Gracie Arnold. All right, so runners at first and second. One out. Yeah, thank you, Chris. Sorry about that. And the pitch. Rise ball swung out, foul back. Thought we might have had a hit and run on the way she swung at that, but I guess not. And the pitch. Ball hit hard to center field. It's over her head. It's off the top of the fence. That's going to score a run. That's a home run. Oh, that's a home run. You went over. Sorry. Right. I thought it came in. So, that's going to be a Century Bank home run. I thought it hit right at the top. It came in, but it bounced over. Yep. Went on over. I mean, bounced off the top and went over. Not, not on the ground. It's a great home run. Arnold, she, that was a line drive, Chris. Line drive right back to center field. Uh, luckily, it was just right of the wall out there. Yeah. Had it been another two foot to the left, it would have been a double off the wall. Yeah. Because it barely had the height to clear the fence. So they're going to call time. We're going to take 30 seconds. We'll be right back. At Century Bank of Georgia's Rock Mart office, you'll find the reassuring blend of responsive personal service with a wide array of accounts, technologies, loans, and more. And you'll find each delivered by a bank professional whose goal is to exceed your expectations of what a bank can be. We invite you to discover all we are today. Your local choice for community banking. Go Jackets. Century Bank of Georgia. Rock Mart. We want to be your bank. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. All right, we're back at the Rock Mart. Rock Mart leads 7-1 to one right now after a nice home run by Arnold. I mean, a line drive out of here. Center field, what, about three feet away from the big oh, yeah. uh, wall, wall out there? Yep. So, looks like after uh, the extended meeting there, they're finally going to decide to change, change pitcher. All right. So they're going to change pitchers. So we're going to let her warm up. And, Brian, we're going to go back and take 60 seconds, and we'll be right back. Hello, Jacket Nation. I'm Chris Miller. And I'm Steve Miller. And we are Alvis Miller & Son Funeral Home and Crematory. Our family has been part of Rockmark since 1954, and we have been serving you at the funeral home since 1981. My dad is a 1971 graduate of Rockmark High School, and I'm a 2005 graduate of Rockmark High School. We are proud supporters of our community and Rockmart High School Athletics. From our family to yours, go Jackets. Alice Miller and Son Funeral Home and Crematory, Rockmart's only locally owned and operated hometown funeral home. Hey folks, this is your old buddy Bill Scherfsey, General Manager of All Star Motors. See Donis Baines for a great deal on a new pre-owned vehicle and drive it home today. Good credit, bad credit, no credit. Your job is your credit. And remember, All Star Motors, where every day is an All Star Day. Also, check us out at www.allstarmotorco.com. And we have that unforgettable phone number, 770-684-CARS. That's 770-684-2277. All right, we're back at the Rock where the other pitcher is warming up. And uh, it's 7-1 to Rock Mart. He changes pitchers. I bet that pitcher was probably saying, I'd like to come out before the last home yeah. run. But uh, Yeah, this is going to be uh, Bates now on the mound for Adair's one. But, yeah, like we were talking, you know, that home run, it was a line drive shot. Another two and a half, three foot, it would have hit the wall. So, luckily, it didn't hit the fireman in the elbow. Up there. Exactly. Exactly right. <laughs> How you going to call that? You know, kind of like the guy that a few years back he. Oh, yeah, for the Cubs? Yeah, the Cubs game. That's where I was yeah. trying to go with that. Oh, I'm man, I, just I got you back, man. Yeah, man. 
So that brings up Megan Johnson. You didn't help me on the with any though, but yeah, I did help you there. I, well, I did after we got off there. Yeah. Johnson with a nice home run last time, just uh, a bomb. Drove it out of here. Hopefully that'll boost her confidence. Um, but now you just want to get up there and swing and hit the ball, and don't think about that home run. Make contact. Ball hit hard to th- shortstop. Gets by her for a base hit. A nice bounce, and she didn't even touch the ball. You know, I'm generous. I give base hits, but uh, you know, to home. Yeah, she hit it hard. This is good hard hit ball. Well, and and she's hitting the ball now, so yeah, that's that's awesome. awesome account. Sam hit the ball hard last time. Yeah, let's see if she can do the thing. Called strike right at the knees, down the middle. Maybe if you told her you'd take her to Dairy Queen like you did <laughs> when 10 years ago. Yeah, when she was playing Coach Vic. Yeah, I mean, Dairy Queen worked for me. I mean, mm-hmm. I'm taking you to Dairy Queen. Ball swung on change up, swung on a miss. She fooled us back here, too, with that pitch. So it's 0 2 to Wolf. Now she's got to fight it off so she gets the one she wants. It's a right back of the pitcher. She comes up with it, and she's she's out at first. But I hate when they pull their foot that early. Trying to try to make that double play back to second base. Yeah. Gonna have a pinch batter here for the pitcher Emily Register. Gonna be uh, Kylie Bowman. Coach says, take your time. Just get up there and hit the ball. Seven to one, Rob Hart leads, bottom of the fourth. The ball's a little low. Like we talked about last time, we've we got, we got a lot of youngsters on this team. Oh, yeah. But we also have some seniors as well that, uh, you know, have been playing for a couple of years, senior and, and junior. I think our Not freshmen right. almost outnumber the – all three of the other class. It's nice to have that mix. That ball's in the dirt. Nice stop by the catcher. That'll leave Mark. Three balls, no strikes. I don't see a swing here. Ball strikes right at the knees. So now she's ready to go. She's still got two more pitches. Find the one you want. Three one one. Eight one one is what? Check the lines? Or no. Yep. Ah, right, foul off. So now we got a full count. I'd like to have another run right here. Oh not F two four four. Not the dreaded two four four. Here comes the payoff pitch. Rise ball, it's going to be ball four. Runner's going to advance the third on a high ball. That thing just is still rising. It is. Stop. It's still going. It's going to be a silver comet furniture walk. Another uh, pinch batter here for Sarah Beth Frazier. Um, it's going to be Anna Suits. Anna Suits. We were waiting for them upstairs to say it, but you, you knew it already, so. Nice to get some of these girls in. Runner first and third. Ball right down the middle for strike one. Here's the cool thing. These girls can play. So it's not like he just put them in there. They can play. Ball's low. And when you got a 7-1 to one lead, some of the pressure is taken off when you get up there. They're, they're definitely nervous. Yeah. But some of that pressure is taken off. Two outs, 1-1 one, one count. Here comes the pitch. Ball hit and fouled behind us here. Out of play. One ball, two strikes. We're on first and third, two outs. 7-1. to one. Lady Jackets lead. And 
And the pitch rise ball. It's going to be a ball. She didn't even flinch on that one. Yeah, that, that rise ball just doesn't have the zip on it that it needs to, to fool the batter. It's it's high coming out of her hand. Two balls, two strikes, two outs for the Jackets. That ball's a little low. Ball three. He almost pulled the trigger on that. One. Now we got a full count. Just put the bat on the ball, young lady. Here we go. Ball hit towards second base. And she's going to make the catch for round number three. So, not Rotmar scores seven. It's seven to one. We got four of that inning, right? Yes. So, we'll be right back in one of the top of the fifth finally. I told you we'd get there. We made it. Hey, friends. Jeff Bailey here with Dave's Pre-Owned Supercenter in Rockmark. Make sure the next time you're in the market for a car, truck, or SUV, you take the short drive over to Little Old Rockmart and find out what the buzz is all about. You'll be glad you did, and so will your wallet. So come on by and meet our friendly staff, and we'll have you busting bugs in no time. So what are you waiting for? Just give us a call at 770-684-7400 or check us out at daysrockmart.com. And remember, like we always say, today is the day. At Family Savings Credit Union, we understand how important your time is. So we make managing your money fast, easy, and convenient. Need a loan? Just fill out an online application and get back to the game without missing a minute of action. We know what matters to you because we're a family. We understand how important your time is. So we make managing your money fast, easy, and convenient. Go to FamilySavingsCU.com, call, or stop by any Family Savings Credit Union location to get started today. Federally insured by NCUA, Equal Opportunity Lender. Back of the rock, and uh, coach is giving the lineup change to blue. So we're going to be in the top of the fifth, and uh, register still pitching. So, <laughs> yeah, going to bring. Uh, they want to bring uh, teams off the field there. I think she's still a little banged up, uh, honestly. From that hitting From the girl hit. first? I yep. think so, too. I think huh? she's still. Yeah, she's uh, she's definitely not feeling well over there. Here comes the pitch. It's going to be hit up in the air to second base. No one's going to get it. Oh, my goodness. Arnold made one heck of a play to try to catch it with a dive, but just couldn't get there. They were playing back, and uh, that ball just wasn't going nowhere. No. That was clearly a base hit because that is, uh, you can't get that. That's what you call no man's lane. Yeah. Pitcher doesn't go get those balls. They can get no, hurt. No, pitcher so you, can't, can't you really leave them alone. Up. Oh, that ball hit hard, but it's foul over the uh, batting cages. This is uh, 21, Chloe Sounders. Step in now. We're ready to go again. Here comes the pitch by Emily. Inside corner strike. Nice pitch. That was beautiful. And I tell you, still a good crowd here. Just very impressive that all the people that come out and support Lady J. Well, they, they love sports, man. Everybody, you're dying for sports right now, you know what I mean? I guess that's the wrong word to say. But, you know, you, you're wanting to see games. I mean, that's terrible. But I love sports. I know you do, too. And oh, Terry yeah. Dabbs, he ain't, got no, he ain't got a dog in this race. He wants to come over here and watch him play and cheer him on. So we appreciate that. Ball hit hard, but foul out of play. Boy, I'm gonna tell you, don't throw her another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Jerry's doing the same thing. Yeah. They keep it down. That's what I said too. You, you better not put another one up there. It's yeah. Well, the, the positive is it, it's we got six run lead right now, so it only be two runs. But yeah, you don't want to do that. Here's the pitch. It's high. She she's rise ball. She fouled that one off. That's probably okay if it's that high. But oh, yeah. don't bring it down any. As long as the ball's moving up in the strike zone, we yeah. good. But we don't want to hang it, leaving it flat high right there. 
Got two strikes on her. Here's the pitch. Rise ball stays up there. That was kind of a changeup. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. She definitely took something off of it. I hadn't seen that pitch before. I didn't teach her that. <laughs> well, you did because it was a ball. That's why. Yeah, exactly. All right, we're ready to go. Ball hit hard. Woo! What the third base up? foul. That's one of those ones that you all just said do not get us there the, at the belt. Yep. Keep that thing low. So one ball, two strikes. 17 fouls right now so far. The middle school softball game must have ended. I see a lot of traffic now. Change up. Oh. Gets her for a strike three. It's a Tilly's own furnishing strike three. That was beautiful. Nice set up right there. Set her up, set her up, set her up, and then just yank the yo-yo string on she one. She could have swung that three times because she swung early. So this is another dangerous batter for him. Yeah, definitely. Um, Sadie Johnson, the catcher. Rise ball, ball one. She came very close to hitting a home run in the first inning. Just join us. We're in the top of the fifth. Rockmont leads seven to one. One out. They have a runner at first for Adairsville. Change up. Strike one. Really liking that change up. She's, uh, you know, it looks like this is a regular pitch, and she just takes it off at the end. And beautiful. But yeah, this uh, big region matchup here. Rise ball. Was a ball. Steps back in. Here we go. That was inside. Ball. That was a rise ball as well. Yeah. Like I said earlier, you know, they're really not chasing. We, we're having to throw strike. Fouls that one off her leg. She's catcher. She's used to it. She's no big deal. Just got a heads up from Mr. Barry Williams. The middle school won three to two. Nope. There you go. So that was a good win for them. They played, uh, was it Sonorville? I know it was a Gordon County team. Another foul ball there. Yeah, I got to see a little bit of some of the eighth graders play there in Cedartown uh, before the floods came. And, uh, well, you were there. You're right. And uh, some promising talent coming up, looks like. Another five. That's three in a row off the same ankle. She said she's walking that one off. Yeah, she's <laughs> definitely walking that one off. I think that one hit a little higher up than the last two. Just found out that that was red butt. They, they red beat. butt. Okay. Red butt. I knew they were wearing red. Yeah. And they had bugs. So. I knew they were from Gordon County. Okay. But Sonorville wears red, and that's a Gordon County school, too, I believe. Mm. Well, after the three foul balls to the ankle there, she finally gives up the walk. Yeah. So springs up the third baseman. Alyssa Jarrett, she's actually the one that lined that one back at Emily last time and caught her in the kneecap. So stay away from that pitch. Ball inside for a strike. That was inside, of the, you know, beautiful inside pitch. Ball's outside for a ball. That's right. One more. Runners on first and second. One out. Got to get one more out here real quick. No matter what, just get one at least. Two would be nice, but one for sure. A little bit high right there on the rise ball. You know, when you got a 71 to one, it's just about an ounce right now. Oh, yeah. You get them out any way you can. They score a run or two, that's okay. You don't want them to, but... It's okay. Yeah, seven to run, but seven to one, but we still got a lot of softball to play. So. Oh, that hits her off the leg. 
Now we got bases loaded. Now we've got situation here. So one swing of the bat, and they're they're right back in this game. And this brings up uh, Taylor Rhodes, who was a starting pitcher for Adair's on. She's grounded out to third and walked in her two at bat. Arnold just went over there and said, listen, settle down. I'm not ready to pitch yet. You go ahead and finish this thing. At least that's what I think I read on the list. Ball swung, foul, twirl, dug out. Good pitch right there. Yeah. Inside well, good low. Yeah. You keep that ball in the infield. See if we can't get the force out. I'd like to have it here at home, but we'll take it anywhere. Call strike outside. That was nice. 0 2. We need us another Tilly's home furnishing strikeout right here. That'd be nice. Or just a infield fly. Out of cost time. Begging for time. Didn't know he was going to use or not. <laughs> Can I have to please? I was on the pitch. <laughs> All right, so we're ready to go. Rise ball. He doesn't swing at it. One, two, says the blue. Here comes our trainer, Sean. He's joining us now. Yeah, I think football practice has ended as well, foul ball. Foul that back. Saw a couple of football players are strolling in. Looks like they'd had a tough afternoon. Well, they got to get ready for that upcoming match. For sure. Strong on strike three That's for a ride ball for two outs. With bases loaded, nice pitch by Register. Yeah, I think a little bit of football will, will cure a lot of everything. Now batting number five, yep. The register is ready to go. And the pitch inside. Oh, gets fired. Here comes the runner. We got her. Got her. Got her. She goes, yeah, calls her out. Nice play. Nice play, Zoe. Nice play, Register. I, that was perfect. Fast ball got her out at her, her home. That ball couldn't have gone anywhere else, so she would have been safe. It was perfect. Register was there for the tag out. Great job. So we'll be right back. Seven to one lead, Rock Mart. Here's a real tweet from a real Chick-fil-A guest. Meredith writes, Am I the only person who didn't know Chick-fil-A had mac and cheese? Holy game changer. The secret's out now, Meredith. Is there anything you think the world should know about our mac and cheese? What I really like about the mac and cheese is the oven toasted golden brown cheesy top layer. It's savory and it makes you feel really good. That does sound amazing. Thanks, Meredith. Try the mac and cheese yourself at your local Chick-fil-A. Real Chick-fil-A guests paid for their testimonial. Whether you are a builder, renovator, or homeowner, you want to be offered and educated with the latest codes and innovations for keeping your home more efficient. TNT Insulation can blow you away with dynamite service and dynamite prices. Call today at 770-684-1887 or go see them at 562 P Ridge Road in Rockmark. Hi, we're back at the Rock going to the bottom of the fifth. Rockmart leads 7-1. Chris, a little scared there, but the base is loaded with one out. And, uh, boy, that came through. Well, I tell you, nice play right there on the pass ball by Zori Williams. I mean, she got there quick, and Emily Register got to the plate quick, and I knew it had a chance if we made a good throw, and, and Zori just made a perfect underhand toss there to Register to put the tag on the runner. So, runner thought she was safe, but to me, it wasn't even close. Yeah, it's just like my, my person on my left, Jerry Dabb, said she didn't even make it to the plate no. because actually Register was – not blocking it, but that's just where she wound up with the ball when yep. she caught it. So, it was a very nice play. What's up, Coach? Leading off the bottom of the fence for the Lady Jackets, number eight, Maddie Owens. All right, so Maddie Owens steps up for Rock Mart. Yeah, it's going to bring up uh, first three batters will be Maddie Owens, Annalie Morris, and Ol- Then we don't know. Uh, yep, because 
I don't know what he's going to do in that position. If he's going to back King or teams will re-enter. So we'll, we'll wait and see. Now first pitch is a little high for a ball. Can't see anything in the dugout that tells me what he's going to do. Ball hit hard to right past second base for a base hit. Oh, she tried to throw it first, but she was too quick. You know, that's the thing. When you hit the ball, you got to hustle no matter what. No, that's yeah. what she did, so she made it down in time. Right fielder tried to throw her out. Yeah, she hit it. I mean, hit it hard to the right fielder, so that gives the right fielder a opportunity the there to make that throw. But uh, Owens beat it out for the single on the hard hit line drive. It brings up Annalee Moore. No outs, and that is uh, Briley King on deck, so she'll stay in the ball game. Morris now batting. She hits the ball, but it's going to go foul. That dirt right in front of home plate is like, it's, it's mush. Oh, yeah. So it hits it, it dies. Wherever that home plate might be. Under there somewhere. Balls will rise, balls, ball. Come on, one. Pitch. Get right back to the pitcher. Uh-oh. She's going to try to get two, but she gets one. And only gets one. That's second. It's going to bring up Briley King. Who replaced teams out there in uh, center field who got a little banged up out there in the last at bat. Now we're ready to go. Still 7 to 1, Rob Mart leads. Rise ball. That's a ball. Got a runner at first. Morris is at first. One out. Bottom of the fifth. I didn't say anything, did I? Nope. Yeah, nope. I, was like, sure. nope. I didn't say it wrong again. Just putting it out there. Thank you. And the pitch. Fouls that one off the right side. All right. So now we're to go. Finally get a new ball in. Ball hit hard to right field. Up in the air, though. And she's going to make the catch because it was pretty high hit. So that's going to be out number two. Bring up the catcher, Zori Williams. Who uh, got a good hit her last time at bat. Now batting for the lady jacket number four, Zori Williams. Well, we got two outs. Come on, kids. Get it started right here. And the pitch. Ball hit toward right field. It's foul. Man, she really got a hold of that one. Breeze picking up there. Feels good. Blew over my water bottle. As long as there's no rain coming with that breeze, we're okay. Yeah, looking around, don't see anything. Hurricane Lulu. Don't want that. <laughs> Definitely uh, prayers for those folks down there in South Texas, South Louisiana. Ball hit the third. She's going to come up throwing the first and makes the play for out number three. So we're going to go to the top of the six. Rockmart leads seven to one. We'll be right back. Lewis Motor Company in Rock Mart carries a wide variety of quality vehicles with the inventory updated on a regular basis to provide you with the best selection. Let Lewis Motor Company put you in a vehicle with their guaranteed credit approval. Lewis Motor Company, 218 South Piedmont Avenue in Rock Mart. 
Cotton Splinters Marketplace and Christmas Shop is getting geared up for the holiday season. We offer 30 vendors with crafts, antiques, vintage, and home decor items. We are located at 120 South Marble Street in downtown Rockmart, Georgia. Come by and see us for all your holiday shopping needs. We have that perfect gift waiting for you to share with someone. You can reach us at 678-685-4949 or on our Facebook page at Cotton Splinters Marketplace and Christmas Shop. Come and see us. All right, we're back at the Rock, going to the top of the six. Rob Mart leads seven to one. And uh, let's see if we can't get them one, two, three here. Yeah, one, two, three. They got six, seven, eight coming up. Wade, Gregory, and Scott. It's neat throw strikes here and work those out, like you said last in. You know, with a six-run lead, it's all about out. Right? Yeah, that's exactly right. We need uh, playing for out. We need a couple more, six more outs, and we'll be going to the house. Because they need to get their rest, because the Hula Creek is like seven hours away, oh, it seems like. Uh, for real, it's, it's out there. It's, it's at least an hour and a half away. By the bus, I don't know. It might be longer. So Morris, King, Johnson, and outfield. Wolf, Arnold, Owens, and Frazier. All hit the second. Comes up with it. Makes the throw. Nice play. Round number one. That's what you want right there. Yep. Just nice, smooth, easy play right there for Matty Owens. Of course, still got Register and uh, Williams. Pitcher, catcher. Rise ball inside. You know, he poured that water in my head. I thought I had a hat on. That's why I didn't understand why I was getting wet. <laughs> so, that was, I know. I just felt my head. I said, my hat's not there. Okay, that's why. Rise ball swung, fouled back to us. This is Megan Gregory. Is hit into a 5-3 out and uh, got hit by a pick. Bowser well, hits that right down third baseline. Wolf comes up with it, makes a nice play. Round number two. It went off the end of the bat. I don't even know how it made the third off the end of the bat. I don't know, but we're going to have to have a talk about that throw. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, it was perfect. It was right there, right to the knees, a little bit lower, and yeah. shot it. A little bit low there. So you get that thing up. You got a good target over there with Frazier. So that thing up there where she can catch it. You got to be careful there. She might. Throw it over her head next time. That ball is called a strike. Or excuse me, yeah, that pitch is called a strike. First baseman don't get enough mention over there, but that's, that's two she's dug out for Sam today. I'll, I'll definitely have to say that. So good yeah. job by Frazier over there digging, yeah. digging that, making those plays over there at first. Well, her glove is, is huge, so uh, you know, better be catching her. Got that shovel over there. <laughs> Got two strikes with two outs. Top of the six. Seven one. Rockbart leads. Rise ball. That'll strike three. That's going to be Attilly's home version. Strike three. So we're going to the bottom of the six. We'll be right back after this. Are you aware that untreated wood is highly susceptible to termite damage? Are you bothered by other pesky insects like bed bugs, ants, roaches, wasps, and hornets? Call Harrelson Termite and Pest Control for an inspection. They have the experience to handle your pest control needs. Call Harrelson Termite and Pest Control today to schedule an appointment. What kind of cake will they serve at your retirement party? Chocolate? Red Velvet? Well, go ahead and call the bakery. Because whether you plan to retire in 15 years or 50, a State Farm agent can help you take charge of your retirement and help make it seem like, well, a piece of cake. Sherman Rawls State Farm Insurance, 122 East Elm Street in Rockmart. Call 770-684-3500. Email him at sherman at shermanross.net. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Neither State Farm nor its agents provide tax, legal, or investment advice. Consult your own advisor regarding your particular Get your bronze on. Visit Totally Bronze Tanning Salon at 254 West Elm Street in Rockmart to get that beautiful bronze look. Totally Bronze Tanning Salon has a very clean and cool facility with a safe, well-lit parking area. For a quick tan, they have sunless spray tanning. Call them today at 770-684-3003 for an appointment or go by 254 West Elm Street in Rockmart. All right, back of the rock, and uh, Arnold steps up to the plate for Rockmart. 
Bottom of six, seven and one, Rockmart leads. Arnold Johnson Wolf do up. All strikes right to knees down the middle. She wishes she would have had that back. Yeah, that's one she hit over the center field fence last inning. Here's the pitch. Ball hits the right field. Hopefully, uh, she scoops it down. It was low, but she made it out. Nice play by the right fielder. Yeah, just a running catch there in the basket. Now Johnson, she's been hot with the bat. Let's see if she can continue hitting the ball hard. I'll make sure I ask you from now on before the game how she's hit because, boy, she's hit hard today. Yep, without a doubt. Ball a little low. <laughs> yeah. And the pitcher's ready to go. Here comes the pitch. Rise ball. It's a ball. You know, Bates has done a good job for the Lady Tigers since she's come in. Um, and she's really done good. Well, I think ball three. We call that strike. Yeah, he two called one. it a strike. That was a late strike, but he called it a strike. So two balls, one strike, one out. Rise ball, that's a little high. Three balls, one strike, one out. Top of the six, or about the six, seven to one, Rock Bar leads. And the pitch in the dirt. That's going to be a ball four. Going to be a walk. Yep. That's going to be a silver comet walk. Walk yourself into silver comet furniture on 278. And I bet you if you pick out one of those couches or whatever, they'll sell it to you. Yeah, right there, high point, right on the highway, Cedartown Highway, depending on where you're coming from and where you're going. Yeah. That brings up third baseman, Samantha Wolf. Rise ball, that's high for ball one. Sun is still bright in the outfield there. Ball hit hard up the middle. Second comes up. Where's one? But not in time to get two. So, good hustle. Emily Register steps up to the plate now. She can help herself now, here. They're taking forever to come to the mound and pitch. Oh, he's delaying the game, but here we go. Here's the pitch. Ball strike right inside right at, the, at the belt. It does take a minute. Whole team wearing the wristband. Low and inside. Okay, well, no matter what this one is, we're going to know. <laughs> Get some information out yeah. of The fastball low. Well, it's two balls, one strike. That's what I've got. Two outs on a lady jacket. This is registered back in the bat as Bowman batted four in the last inning. Ball hit hard. It's going to get through the shortstop. Much needed right there for register. Nice job. Shortstop dived after the ball, but couldn't get to it. So, with two outs, we got a runner at first and second. Courtesy runner. Going to be 14. Emma Scott. Emma Scott. Emma Scott. Courtesy for, for the pitcher. Oh, 
house. Leave Dad him, tried to get leave some knuckles out there and hanging. left him hanging. So. Left him hanging. Just a solid hit right here. She's deep. Oh, I like those back gloves. Red, white, and blue with the stars for the palm. I'm going to have to that. salute. <laughs> she really got to see that when she threw up the time for the umpire there. Ball in the dirt. Nice stop by the catcher. See Velvet Teddy Bear still here. He's in the background cheering on. Frazier waiting on the one four two. Ball hit hard up the middle. That's gonna go high. Wolf. Here comes Wolf to the plate. And they're throwing it to the plate. But she's gonna score, not in time, so good job with hustle. She's got your speed, so you knew she was gonna score. <laughs> All that titanium she's carrying around in that heat. <laughs> she's gotta be light. <laughs> so I've got I think I got some titanium in my back, so I know how fast it makes you. Oh yeah. It's just quick. Good hit right there by Frazier. Sure brings up the hot bat of Maddie Owens, man. She's uh I mean really been hitting the ball. I'm gonna move her up in the lineup. Eight to one right now, Rockmar leads. You know, if, if if she just hits this over the fence, it's over anyway. We don't have to bat anymore. Got Scott on second for register. Frazier on first. And another hit by Matty Owen. But shortstop got two. She knocked it down and threw the runner out second. So just like that, we're going to head to the top of the seventh. Rockmar leads eight to one. We need three outs. By Low True Value, 308 Nathan Dean Parkway in Rockmart invites you to come by and watch the inventory grow every day. We're the home of the Garrett Brothers Sawmill. Our family has been processing and selling our country's greatest renewable resources for over 100 years. Like us on Facebook or give us a call at 770-684-5075. Hello, Jacket Nation. I'm Chris Miller. And I'm Steve Miller. And we are Alvis Miller & Son Funeral Home and Crematory. Our family has been part of Rockmark since 1954, and we have been serving you at the funeral home since 1981. My dad is a 1971 graduate of Rockmark High School, and I'm a 2005 graduate of Rockmart High School. We are proud supporters of our community and Rockmart High School athletics. From our family to yours, go Jackets. Alice Miller and Son Funeral Home and Crematory, Rockmart's only locally owned and operated hometown funeral home. WZOT Rockmart, W270CE Rome. All right, back of the rock, going into the top of the seventh, Chris. We, uh, Chris Wolf here, along with Robert Troy, and we are trying to get three outs and, and go to the house. Yep, looks like we got a catch and change here. Is uh, Hyman, Emily Hyman, coming in for Zori Way. A little leaf job here. Yep. She's a brushman. Yep. So. Yep, and she just about took out our senior picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jerry, you might have to settle her down. Keep, keep, keep her down, Jerry. <laughs> yeah, here comes the pitch. Ball hit hard. That's going to be a base hit up the middle. Not how we wanted to start this, but that's okay. It's eight to one. Rob Mart leads. The key is don't let them score seven or more runs. Yep, that was bait. So the, uh, we got to do one out at a time. Yep, that brings us back to the top of the lineup. And, uh, McKenzie Pullum, keep the ball in front of you now and make it out. Yeah, we're just playing for out. Here comes the pitch. Inside, a little bit low. Batter steps back in. Here's the pitch. That ball's hit hardest. 
left field. One bouncer, though. Well, she, these two batters have got a hold of her. And you definitely don't want to get it up high here. No, we, we've seen her take some big swings. I think I came up with a uh, nasty changeup right here. Here's the pitch. Ball hit hard down left field. Foul. She got that inside like she wanted it, but she just turned on it. Well, we'll take a ground ball to third base. That would be nice. But Chris doesn't like the way she throws the first, so he's going to have to get on to it. <laughs> All right, we're set and ready to go now. Here's the pitch. Beautiful pitch. Fouls the back of the screen. That was outside and right at the knee. That's where I'd like to see it again and then throw a, a rise ball. Yeah, get that ball off the plate a little bit right here and see if we can get her to chase. But nothing that she can get that barrel on. And here comes the pitch. There was a rise changeup. Never seen. Today's the first time I've ever seen those pitches. A rise changeup. She's definitely taking something off of that intentional. And the pitch. Ball hit high up in the air, but she got under that one. Going easy out. And it is. Out number one to left field. You said easy out. It scared me. Yep. Sorry. But <clears throat> brings up Sadie Johnson again. There goes the fire department going. I know you're probably listening to us on the radio out there. They're coming. They'll be there shortly. So one out. Runners at first and second, like you said. Here's the pitch. Change up. Fouls that one off our dugout fence. Don't touch it. Yeah. But in volleyball, Lions just have to kick it back to them. And fans touch it. you got to get a new ball. So, you know, they're all dodging <laughs> like dodgeball in the stands so they don't touch it. It was pretty neat. Because an outside pitch. Change up. Beautiful pitch by Register. There was a change-up that was nice. I'm going to have to get up there and see Jeff in action there. He's coaching the volleyball team this year. Oh, he's yeah. excited about that. He's at home tomorrow, but you'll be out of town. Ooh, nice. Ball's <laughs> a little bit outside, <laughs> but right the knees. Emily's smiling on that one. Yeah, it was a very nice pitch. She hadn't gone there in a while. Going there again. Nope. Change up, strike three. That's Attilly's home furnishing strike three. <laughs> that was gorgeous. Man, she just pulled the string on that. Two outs, scores eight to one. Rockmart leads. We're one out away. Third baseman Alyssa Jarrett. She's hit the ball hard. One out away from going three and one in region play. Emily found a little. Behind that one. A little zip here in the seventh inning. Ball hit past first base for a base hit. That's going to be a run that uh, can't score, so now bases are loaded. Well, that was kind of a smart play. You're down. Never make the last out of runs. You don't do that. No, you never make the last out of home, especially down by seven. That's the difference between a coach and a parent. Two outs. Here's the pitch. Rise ball. It's a little bit high. Taylor Rhodes, number nine. She grounded out and struck out. Walt. As my former boss said, there's no all-stars out here, no scouts. Well, he's talking about Rick. He's not talking about here, I guess. <laughs> there might be some scouts here. Jerry's here. Well, he's probably scouting somebody. One ball, one strike, two outs. Oh, change up. Right off into the bat, the first base to end the ball game. 
Longmont's going to win eight to one over at Daresville. Put some three and one in region play. That's a good victory. We'll be right back in two minutes. Hey folks, this is your old buddy Bill Scherfsey, General Manager of All Star Motors. See Donis Baines for a great deal on a new pre-owned vehicle and drive it home today. Good credit, bad credit, no credit. Your job is your credit. And remember, All Star Motors, where every day is an All Star Day. Also, check us out at www.allstarmotorco.com. And we have that unforgettable phone number, 770-684-CARS. At 770-684-2277. Cotton Splinters Marketplace and Christmas Shop is getting geared up. We offer 30 vendors with crafts, antiques, vintage, and home decor items. We are located at 120 South Marble Street in downtown Rockmart, Georgia. We have that perfect gift waiting for you to share with someone. You can reach us at 678-685-4949 or on our Facebook page at Cotton Splinters Marketplace and Christmas Shop. Come and see us. At Century Bank of Georgia's Rock Mart office, you'll find the reassuring blend of responsive personal service with a wide array of accounts, technologies, loans, and more. And you'll find each delivered by a bank professional whose goal is to exceed your expectations of what a bank can be. We invite you to discover all we are today. Your local choice for community banking. Go Jackets. Century Bank of Georgia. Rock Mart. We want to be your bank. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Lewis Motor Company in Rock Mart carries a wide variety of quality vehicles with the inventory updated on a regular basis to provide you with the best selection. Let Lewis Motor Company put you in a vehicle with their guaranteed credit approval. Lewis Motor Company, 218 South Piedmont Avenue in Rock Mart. Whether you are a builder, renovator, or homeowner, you want to be offered and educated with the latest codes and innovations for keeping your home more efficient. TNT Insulation can blow you away with dynamite service and dynamite prices. Call today at 770-684-1887 or go see them at 562 P Ridge Road in Rockmark. Back at the Rock, and uh, with an eight to one victory over Daresville Tigers, Chris, I tell you what, that that you know that was a good victory. We needed that. Yeah, without a doubt. And uh, just trying to get some totals here, but look, looks like we got uh, eight runs on eleven hits there for the Lady Jackets. A couple of long balls, one with uh, Arnold and one with a monster shot from Johnson. Uh, Register ended up good there with. Uh, with her pitching, you know, she had a few walks here and there, but ended up with six strikeouts. So, good good day for her, and I know she's glad to be back on the mound after her little hiatus. And uh, hopefully, teams is all right. She's she's still walking a little slow over there, getting back from the team meeting. But I'm sure, she'll be fine for tomorrow. She's about as tough as they come. Yeah, yeah, and we're gonna have. Like you said, we have action tomorrow at Chihula Creek. And um, and then next month we're back here, or next week, I guess, Thursday. We're back here on the 3rd uh, playing here. And uh, that's when next time we'll have a broadcast. Um, but Yep, away game tomorrow. Away, away, away. Yep. So we're going to get Coach Luke over here to talk a little bit about um, what he thinks about the performance tonight. And uh, yeah, it's 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 exciting, and and maybe they we can play some softball for a change, and and get these these girls out there, and because uh, we need sports right now, don't we? So, so eight to one, and and Coach Luke's going to join us here real quick. Can you hear me now, Coach? I can hear you this time. All right, congratulations on an eight to one victory. Uh, you know, nice to have Emily back. Yes, definitely nice to have her back. I mean, you guys, she's a little rusty. Curveballs outside, we're inside. Um, a lot of missed spots, but luckily it didn't hurt us. Um, probably her best series of pitching of the night was against the three-hole hitter here in the last inning where she actually went multiple change-ups and 
yeah. we weren't giving her nothing in the what fourth, fifth inning where we threw a three two change up. I mean I wasn't gonna give her anything. That's their one stud. Um so we threw a three two change up and just walk through. Um had some good swings, we're still doing some stuff that's not good at the plate. But a lot of girls standing still, not loading, not moving through the ball. I mean, flat footed. We're a little flat in the dugout. But uh now uh we'll I think we're, we've hit every obstacle we can probably have. So teams will be out four games with a concussion, so uh, mild concussion. So now we're back against the wall again. So your hitter that's hitting probably over 700 is now out for the probably the biggest game tomorrow. So um, I was about to ask you about her. I yeah. saw her. Well, she's asking for the trainer. My job is to get him out of the game. So yeah, that's why I took her out. She had to come out just for – safety precautions. I mean, if you're calling for the trainer, obviously something's wrong, so you don't need to be in there trying to be tough. Oh, most definitely. And we saw her conclusion at first base, and unfortunately, the first baseman was standing there in the way, and she was doing her job to run, but, you know, that's terrible. So hopefully she'll be okay. But you got a long ride tomorrow. That's a long ways away. Through long ride. Long ride, and I have to try to make it into, you know, so I'm going to step up. I mean, that's just that's what it is. We're, we're really young, no experience, really, and, um, a lot of girls kind of sitting back waiting for something to happen, and, and, and I'm just, you know, can't. I mean, I think we're at 14 eligible girls for tomorrow. I mean, you're going to play. I mean, it's not like last year you had seven seniors. Just got done telling them. You don't have seven seniors. You don't have 24 on the roster where you're fighting to play. It, it, it You're going to play. Um, so, just got to take the opportunity. I mean, right now it's really just positive contact at the plate that's going to get you more reps. It's not the hits. It's not the – you know, the big things you're doing, but it was good to see Megan finally come through. She's been struggling. We've been working in the cage. It's good to see Gracie come through, and she's a little flat-footed at the play, but that at-bat, she had a great swing on it. If she'll learn to use that part of the field more with her swing, she'll be a, an outstanding hitter, um, which she's a good hitter, too, but still working on a few. Try to get, we got to get Sam going. We got to get, uh, we got to figure out what we're doing in the two-hole. That's kind of been, we've been kind of messing around with that. Um, not many. Uh, we're just trying to put some speed in the top and the bottom, and yeah, and then tomorrow all that who knows? you know wrench is thrown in that because now you got to figure out what to do one two. So yep, well, the uh, coin flip toss up. I mean, heck, I, I'll go ahead and tell you right now. I'll probably put Gracie lead off tomorrow. Just put her. She takes the pitches and doesn't really strike out much. But we're going to see a flamethrower tomorrow, so it's going to be short swings with the ball and play tomorrow. Well, I'm, I'm with you on Johnson. It was good to see. I went, the home run was nice but hitting the ball hard, yep. and that was really nice to see. And, and, and Wolf even hit the ball hard the first time. Yep. So, yeah, you're right. I get her going. and Just chasing some bad pitches right now. Just trying to be a little little too anxious. I, 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 I told Dad if he takes her to Dairy Queen, maybe things will change. You just <laughs> got to do something different like when she was young. But, yeah, Coach, I mean, you know, it was nice to see some of the young girls get here to bat tonight, and you change some of them in to hit. And, uh, you know, you, you put them in these situations so that when they're in tough situations, hopefully they're ready to go. Well, I'm, I mean, y'all are y'all been around the game long enough to tell I'm searching. So I'm trying to find something that, you know, we've had we have had a few that have been pretty. Maddie Owens has been Maddie very Owens. consistent. I mean, yeah, She's done her thing. Um, just trying to find some action there in that two, and then really we need that three, four, five to be consistent. Where we've kind of been that, up and down. That's so. what I told him before the game. You know, that four or five hole has been struggling, and uh, you know, like you said, Johnson came out tonight and. And, and, you know, she had a couple of good big hard hits and a big bomb, you know, out the – Confidence builders. There. That's what it was. Well, she would not like the hard hit ground ball. Short, so I like it because oh, I yeah. know what she's got to do. She's got to put the ball in play better. And, and that, that's – nobody wants to get out. But that's going to give her some confidence, at least hitting it hard. So Hitting it hard and hitting it the right way. Yeah. So what do you have the rest of the week? Cahoola Creek tomorrow. And then you have this weekend or are you off till next week? Um. We're not planning on anything uh, okay. now with uh, some issues. So, uh, <laughs> uh, we're supposed to have a makeup game, but probably going to push that one back. But uh, right, or I don't. Three games in a row right now away our region. You know, nothing against our old region, but you know there were some teams there that we could put some tough games in and know that we we're going to be fine. You can't do that now. I made the comment earlier yeah, in the game. I said there's some Floyd County teams that are definitely glad that you know we're not there of this year. You know, and and I say that respectful way. I mean, but no, yeah. you know, they're they're definitely glad they they don't have to face us uh, this year. And we're in a good region now. I mean, a lot of good ball teams. So, you know, it's 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 a toss up. I mean, you look at that game the other day. 
Norville and was this Nor yes Norville yeah. and Kahula Creek and this Norville pitcher struck out 21 girls and lost. Yeah, and they lost yeah. one nothing, and the girl from Kahula Creek struck out 19. 19 yeah. I mean, so that right there tells you we're going to have to put the ball in play. We have to shorten the yeah. swings up and go with no load on the front side and just work hands. And that's been an issue that we really aren't making that adjustment at all. Um, you got to buy into it, right? And it, you know, the swings don't change. That's where 20 games in June and July make a huge opportunity to make those adjustments because you can fail in June and then we can tweak you in July and get going in August. Yeah. And we didn't, we don't have that. So, you know, and then not making any excuses for mine, but you know, she she hadn't seen swung a bat since last September. Nope. You know, she missed all the fall ball last year, didn't get to play spring. So, you know, she she hadn't had that bat, you know, to get crunk up. So, that was all the games she's got missing those games over a year. Missing those games, you yeah. know, in June, July, really hurt hurt, hurt for sure. And uh, we had know. a great summer schedule set. Too. Yeah, we it did. Is. It is, you know, we, they've been through a lot, and we're still trying to. We're gonna keep going through a lot, and I guess that's life and adversity. And the girls have been great, um, you know. So I actually didn't feel very good today myself. Actually, uh, got out here and worked on the field, and uh, you know. Trying to control my BPM, B, BPM just a little bit, but it's a little elevated. So doing that, a lot going on. Just trying to well, work, glad to, work these girls, man. Glad You're to right. see you here and the girls and the good good victory tonight and, and tomorrow. We wish you luck there as well. Like you said, it's going to be tough, but coach, be tough. You'll you, you'll hang in there and, and the girls will do fine. And we look forward to seeing you next week uh, on air here. And uh, I and, think and, Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, I think it's Thursday. Home next Thursday is here. Yep. So. And there could – got to look at the schedule. We've got so many issues to come up. Villarica, Dade, and us are supposed to play a trifecta on, I believe, the 19th of September. I could be wrong. Barry has just told us today that the facilities are closed to any outside team. So now that's moved. Villarica is now not going to play. So Dade wants to play us a doubleheader. They want us to come there, which now you're talking about an hour and 50-minute drive, but then trying to find games. Doubleheader, that's fine. It'd be good to kind of get a playoff series type doubleheader because you don't yeah. have any back-to-back -back games, really. So a lot of changes in the schedule. I mean, uh, we still got to make up Ringgold, which now looks like they're bumping the region tournament back to because the state moved it back. So right. that week where we're going to play like the first, the sixth, the fifth, we're probably going to make up Ringgold and possibly a Cedar Town game there. Um, there's some that we may have to cancel. We may have to bump one of the Bremen games just to squeeze in the game because you you cannot go four games with our region. No. We can't do it. No. We can't afford totally different. Yeah. Can't afford to do it. Can't do it with four teams. So unfortunately we're gonna lose games. Well and we don't know what tomorrow brings either, so you know, but we wish you the best and coach good good victory tonight. We'll take that and we'll move on from that and uh, I wish you well tomorrow. All right guys, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, coach. All right, Chris, you got anything else for today? No, that's about it. You know, another good Another good day here in the Rock, and uh, we we look for that uh, another victory tomorrow as we travel way up into North Georgia to Kahula Creek. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, you guys, you have a good night, and we're done for tonight. You have been listening to Walmart High School Girls Softball here on WCOT, brought to you by the Clay Birch BT, the Nathan Dean Agency, Culver Exterminating, Precious Paul. Croker's Hardware, Pascal's Lawn Care, Merle Norman Cosmetics and Boutique, and Dean Presley Florida.